Good morning everyone. So today I'm going on a solo adventure to buy some house plants because apparently there's a warehouse sale on house plants up in Collingwood area of Melbourne, which to be honest is pretty far from where I live, but there's a bus that almost goes directly to where I need to go. So I'm gonna try to venture there. It's gonna be my first time on a bus in Melbourne. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I think it will be okay. It can't be any different from like Tokyo buses or anything like that. Like it can't be as hard as buses in Tokyo and Korea where you literally have no idea what they're saying. So I think it'll all be good. So let's go out and get some indoor house plants. All right, you guys, so I made it to the Collingwood area, and oh my God, it's so windy today. It's like a typhoon, but it's amazingly warm. It's like 17 degrees Celsius out today, which is like shocking for what it's been recently in Melbourne because it's winter. But yeah, so I just need to find this place I'm going to now. I have no idea the street. What's this one? No, I gotta keep walking straight. <gasps> I've never really been in this area before, I don't think, so it's kind of... Oh, so windy. So windy. It's kind of interesting, but I think... I think I need to be in this... Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. Going straight. We should be here soon. It's kind of like an empty area, I noticed. Like, there's not a lot going on, because usually I'm in, like, but today I'm totally in a different area. It's really barren. So I got my plants and I was thinking I would Uber it back because it's so windy I don't want them to break and die but I'm just going to tell it and take the bus again to save some money because I don't think it's worth like, I don't know an extra $20 to get back home because I paid like $45 for these. Yeah. So let's go home, you guys. It's so windy. You guys, this is how windy it is. This tree. Stop it. So I decided that I need uh, some pots for my plants because they came in just the basic like black pots and I don't really like that look. A lot of my other plants at home just have like the basic ones that it came in. So I'm gonna go check out some dollar stores and see if I can find anything that would fit. And it's so windy. Dollar store. They have a lot of good stuff in these places here. Even though it's not usually like a dollar, it's like two dollars, but same thing. I am officially back. And it is currently, what, like three o'clock? I don't know. Three o'clock, it's so windy out and there's a dog barking because if you guys hear that in the background, it's because the new building that went up beside our apartment building, I guess they allow pets and like a bunch of people that are moving in have dogs and they just bark all day every day now. And it's actually becoming really annoying and I'm, I'm almost tempted to complain even though I hate complaining, but it's like seriously, like I can't film during the day anymore because like dogs are barking all the time. But on that note, at the dollar store, I got this stuff. Wow. So it's like a, um, a fence, but with fake plants and stuff. And I'm gonna put it up on my balcony because we have an area that you can see to the other neighbor's balcony and you can also see to the new apartment building that went up beside us and based on the angles like people in their that apartment building can now see into our apartment building so it kind of took away from our privacy which is unfortunate but i've got a thing to i guess help with that a little bit then i also picked up a cooking tray so now we can finally have a designated cooking tray i've been putting this off for months now and recently kyle also started using the oven a lot so he's been using like the drip pan for baking stuff on and it's just a pain in the butt then i also picked up a laundry hamper for him because he doesn't have one and he just throws his clothes all over the floor and i'm not okay with that then i got these super cute rose colored oven mitts because we don't have any we've just been using our tea towels and that's 
a recipe for disaster. And I also got a stapler because there's something I wanted to staple. I remembered that while I was there and I was like, there's something I wanted to staple. I need this stapler. Then I also got this bamboo cheese board serving tray thing because I think it would be nice for photos that I take and little cooking bits and stuff like that. And I just really been wanting it for a while and kept putting it off. Then I got two candles because we haven't had any for a while and I really miss having candles around and lighting them at night. Then as you guys know, I went to the dollar store to find pots for my plants, but of course they didn't have any. So I figured I would be creative and kind of glue on these popsicle sticks to give it a wood feel and then wrap this cute little like band around the center and I think it would make it really cute and then I also got a hot glue gun to do that so I'm gonna DIY that in the end with a time lapse for you guys to see what I'm talking about then I also got Kyle a birthday card because his birthday's coming up next week I think at the end of next week and I got this squeegee to clean our shower and mirror because I'm too short to do it and to also clean our massive window because there's bird crap all over it. On that note, I also got window cleaner because we don't have any. And this is the hot glue gun and glue sticks I was talking about for the DIY. <laughs> then I got this snake for our balcony because the pigeons aren't as bad of a problem as they were before, but just in case, because they do like to sometimes walk around on the bottom thing, I'm hoping maybe this will help. I don't know, you guys, I'm desperate. Pigeons, man. Then I got this little squirt bottle so that if they do come around and are determined, I can spit water at them and scare them off. Then I got these few little sticker hooks for our walls because I don't want to nail anything in because it's not okay but sticking things is okay. And then I got a bunch of these twist ties to secure this thing onto my balcony and I'll show you right now. I'm gonna go out and do that time lapse for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. So let's go do that now. you guys so i'm done my diys i feel like a genius i haven't done anything with popsicle sticks since i was in grade school but it turned out really really well and i'm actually quite impressed by it um quick and easy definitely didn't cost a lot and definitely suits the aesthetic i kind of wanted for my house like even the gold vase that i got the whoa my battery died i, I look different because i just filmed a um review video on another skincare product while I waited for my battery to charge for my camera a little bit. So that's why I look a little bit different. I just changed my shirt and put a Innisfree lip color on that's really old and I have no idea what the color is. But yeah, so what I was saying is that I really prefer this kind of wood style for pot rather than the gold pot that I got at Target. But the reason why I got that gold pot is because it literally was the cheapest one at Target and the least heavy pot for plants that they had. So I just grabbed it as a, you know, quick, quick little pot. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with the plants that I got. I was actually a little bit disappointed because, um, there was no more ferns left and it was a little bit misleading because on the Facebook page they were saying uh, everything $10 but that was like minimum $10 so it wasn't that much of a deal as I anticipated seeing as the other plant that I got at the Camberwell market the other day was 20 and it is a little more like a tree rather than a plant I don't know so I felt a little bit scammed so that's why I didn't film too much there I was like mm, really I just commuted 40 minutes and you know you didn't even have that big of a stock and like it wasn't actually ten dollars for everything that was like ten and up 
yeah, I don't know, a little bit disappointing. Like the $10 ones were just little pot stuff. So it's a little bit disappointing, but you know, whatever, you live and you learn. And it was a fun little adventure I had to stay by myself. So I really enjoyed it. But yeah, I think the place is looking a little bit better with these plants. I feel like it livened it up a little bit. So this one I just have on the floor and apparently this one grows to be one to one point five meters tall. And that's just the DIY pot. And that's the other pot I was telling you about for the plant I got the other day at Camberwell Market. And I just put the other one here and apparently this one grows to be about three meters, but I don't know if it will be that big by the time I'm done in Australia or how soon that will happen. And there's my other old one that I got quite a while ago, so yeah. Anyway, you guys, I'm tired. It was a long day for me today. I woke up at 10 to go to that um, little sale and I was out all day and then I did that haul and then I filmed and it's like what six o'clock now I think it's I think it's six o'clock or seven o'clock so I'm gonna make dinner and get editing some videos for you guys and relax because it's been a long day I had no idea it was gonna be this long of a day for me I thought it was gonna be quick and easy so yeah thank you guys for watching of course remember to thumbs up with this video if you enjoyed it comment down below and of course subscribe if you want to see more videos of my life here in Melbourne Australia I love you so much and I will see you next time bye